Hello, 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 and good day, warriors. Couple questions for you. Do you like sweet potato pie? Yeah, I, I thought you did. Do you like cheesecake? Uh-huh, I thought you would like that too. How about a sweet potato cheesecake? Stick around, let's get into it. All right, for this part, you definitely and by all means can and should use a food processor. However, I was being lazy and didn't want to clean all that kind of uh, machinery and equipment. So I did the old fashioned beating it down into okay. a fineness. Once you have these all kind of pounded down to a fine little mist like this, I have a stick of butter that I melted down. I'm gonna mix um, the graham cracker crumbs with a stick of butter and then we're gonna start putting this into our spring form pan. Make sure your oven has been preheated to 350 because you're going to need to uh, cook the crust for a little bit. All right, start with your spring form pan and, and graham cracker crust, whether you make it of your on your own or you buy graham cracker crust, um, but you need to have you some a uh, good spring form pan. Get that graham cracker crust down in there, flattened out, and then you're gonna put this in the oven for about six minutes. In this bowl, I have the two bricks of cream cheese and some sugar that I'm getting creamed up. Next, you need a half a cup of sour cream. Please, please remember, all items need to be room temperature for this to really have the best consistency. Y'all know how I am, I ain't gonna miss nothing. That spatula is life. It'll get everything up out of there. All right, I'm gonna now start creaming that as well. And then we'll add, you'll see me add in two eggs, one egg at a time, and then a little bit of vanilla flavor, just a little taste, okay? This is now our beautiful cheesecake batter. Set this aside and then we'll get prepared to start working on the sweet potato pie batter. All right, so we have two sweet potatoes boil. You can boil or bake them. It really doesn't matter. It's completely your preference. But with them being boiled, I'm getting ready to run the mixer through this just to make sure that there is no strings or anything funky that we don't want. Um, that would mess up the integrity of a smooth batter. So stick around. All right, now that we have gotten string, the strings out of there, we're gonna add one stick of salted butter. You can use unsalted if you like, again, it's preference. I'm also going to add one cup of heavy whipping cream. All right, here I am adding the sugars. You're gonna add a whole cup of white granulated sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar. Start by putting down your sweet potato first. Get that, put that, ooh, it's just, whoo, it smells so good. Ladle that on down, make sure it's well covered. Next, you're gonna go ahead and start, next is the uh, cheesecake layer. I'm also going to get a ladle and kind of pour the cheesecake on top. So 
Second layer, same thing. Do not use all your sweet potato batter with this layer because you're gonna need some of that to do your swirls. All right, full transparency moment. There was a little conundrum that just happened in the kitchen uh, as I was doing my layers. Probably from me rushing because I have something that I'm trying to take care of. I was obligated to take care of something today. And my time management is just off today and I'm rushing. Um, so our bowl with the batter dropped and it broke our layers of this cheesecake. And y'all, I'm being transparent because this is real life things that happen sometimes in the kitchen and we just got to make do. So this is going to just be a full out, swirled out cheesecake. It's still going to come out well, but I'm a little sour because my layers. But yeah, I'm a little sour because my layers got broken. This is still going to be just as delicious, but this cheesecake, however, I will not be um, selling this one. Uh, to the person that asked for it, I'm gonna have to make a whole new cheesecake and make it the way that I like it with really strict layers to it. So let's at least show this one. I'm gonna salvage this one so you can at least see this and get the end results, okay? All right, it's been in for about one hour and you want to take it out when it's still a little jiggly in the middle because y'all know anything you take out the oven and put it down on the counter is still going to be cooking um, until it can cool completely off. But this is what we're working with. All right, it has been taken out of the oven. It has been placed in the refrigerator for over 24 hours. And now I have a knife that I dipped in some hot water and I'm just gonna run across the sides just to make sure we come out of this.